Today we will talk about uh, ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia is basically tachycardia rate more than 100 beats per minute and the origin of the uh, rhythm is coming from the ventricle. If your heart is like that and there's a rhythm coming from a ventricle, the axis of electrical activation is going to go away from it right because if the electricity starts here there are other areas that are not activated so electricity is going uh, like upwards and uh, rightwards lead avr is over here so if electricity is going towards it you're gonna see a positive qrs in avr as you can see here this is one way to um, say that i think this rhythm is ventricular tachycardia because the axis is um, um, severe left or they call it um, um, severe right or rightward um, superior axis now ventricular tachycardia some patients might be walking um, and um, have ventricular tachycardia while um, they're not having any problems and their blood pressure is normal this is very rare but it might happen if the VT speed is not that quick, like let's say 120, 130, 140, uh, and the patient is young, they might be able to go through this rhythm and it might terminate by itself. But remember this, if you see someone with VT, the first thing that they will ask you about in exams and in real life, what do you wanna do? Make sure that you are prepared to shock the patient because that's the most important thing resumption of normal sinus rhythm remember if a patient has vt and this vt is compromising his cardiac output you will either see confusion you will see low blood pressure or worse loss of pulse and in the acls protocol the first thing you want to do for those patients is to shock them now what are causes of uh, ventricular tachycardia? The number one thing that you have to rule out is that uh, they might be having an MI or ischemia. So uh, loss of blood flow to a certain area would get the ventricles agitated and they will start firing uh, their own electrical charges in a way. And one thing that you have to recognize about VT is that VT is usually monomorphic and uh, there is another type of VT which is polymorphic where uh, the waves change in shape. If you look at this uh, V1 strip over here, you can see that the uh, R waves, the QRS complexes all look the same and you can also see that the um, R to R interval is the same so this makes it a regular rhythm and the qrs is wide and that tells you that the origin of it is from the ventricle another thing to um, see in those patients make sure their electrolytes are good magnesium namely magnesium and potassium And this, this is the most important things when you're looking at ventricular tachycardia.